Hi guys, welcome to Mom's Guide to Travel. I'm Tawana and today I'm going to be reviewing um, a food product for you. It's actually a gluten-free product. I like to um, come on here and uh, let people know about different gluten-free products that I found that um, work well for my family. My, my kids, both of my kids, I have them on a gluten-free diet. And one of the products that I um, tried, you know, I feel bad that they can't have like cakes or cookies, regular cakes or cookies. So I want to definitely be on the lookout for items that would work for their diet. And Cherry Brook, Cherry Brook Kitchen, they have a line of different bake, bake, um, baked goods. There are plenty of different um, brands out there. So I just keep testing different ones just to see which one works well. And this was their yellow cake mix that I got. And um, it's peanut free, dairy free, egg free, nut free, gluten free. And um, it was what I liked about it was that it was very easy to put together. I didn't have to separate eggs. I didn't have to do any of that. And um, it didn't take long to bake. So with this particular box, you know, it only took like 30 minutes to bake it. And you only needed to add um, melted margarine and water. Now, I don't know if therein lies the problem. My son loved it. He loved it. And I guess really he's, you know, since it's for him, it just, you know, that's all that matters. Me as an adult, I guess I have more discerning tastes, but I wasn't a fan of it. And let me tell you why. I actually thought that the cake itself was a little on the sweet side. Why is that a problem? Well, because if I'm adding icing to it, it's that makes it really, really sweet. So, I mean, it only has 15 grams of sugar, which doesn't seem like a lot, but as far as the sweetness, it nah, was something going on there where I was like, oh, this is a little bit too sweet, you know, and I'm gonna put icing on it. So, that was that, that was one thing. The other thing was the actual texture of it. Um, it was too dense, it was like, <clears throat> excuse me the the texture it actually felt like cornbread to me it did not um that feel it did not feel like um you know that fluffiness that uh, other cakes have and i've actually had gluten-free products that weren't as dense and had that fluffy that had a little more fluffiness to it so you know i'm just wondering if the fact that you know you use just margin and water in this case you know you could use butter maybe as well um, maybe if that has something to do with it and if that's the case I would rather just throw some eggs up in there separated do whatever I need to do to make that taste as close as possible to you know the normal um, the other the cakes that do have wheat in it but maybe there's something in the wheat the gluten that actually gives it that fluffiness as well um, I'm trying to think of some other things oh it had a slight aftertaste too if you've tried it and you have an opinion, I would love to know what you thought of it too. That could just be me, but I love cake. I love cake, so I really wanted to like that so that I could, in you know, the times that we do make cake, that I could just make one cake for everyone. I didn't give it to my husband because I just know, you know, he's not gonna like it. I made the, the Cherry Brook Kitchen also makes sugar cookies. And I made those, and um, the kids love the sugar cookies. Again, it's for them, so that's all that really matters. And I actually like the sugar cookies, but my husband didn't like them. He thought that they needed to be softer. Um, I baked it for the amount of time that they said I did exactly what the box says. And he just thought that it, you know, was a little too dense for him. So, okay, you know. Again, as long as the kids like it, I guess that's all important. But I think I'll just keep my eyes out on the market for some other items to see if they are a little closer to um, the gluten products that, you know, they have come accustomed to. Okay, let me know what you think of Cherry Brook if you try it. Thanks, bye.